Prosecution Alex Murdoch was the most powerful witness against Alex. According to the prosecution, Alex Murdoch ended up being his own worst enemy. Murdoch was found guilty of murdering his wife Maggie and son Paul and sentenced to life in prison. While Murdoch may have thought taking the stand in his own defense would help him, state prosecutors believe it backfired. They said the strategy behind cross-examining Murdoch was basically about wearing him down, letting the defendant do what he does best, talk. People were watching this as if it were a reality TV show, and we were treating it as a trial, South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson said, dubbed the trial of the century. It hit a fever pitch on day 23 when Alex Murdoch took the stand, swearing to tell nothing but the truth. By the time lead prosecutor Creighton Waters started his cross-examination, it was late in the day. There was so much to do there. Waters said, that cross started I think I started at 3.30 p.m. that day. I knew I would be cut off by evening recess. Impossible to get any momentum. Waters started from scratch with Murdo the next morning, looking at this guy and what we knew about him. I wanted to get him talking. I wanted to let him answer questions. I wanted the jury to see him perfect his lie and lie to them in real time, he said. And as Murdo talked, the jury listened with their ears. They know when they are being fed a pile of bull. And I think that's what happened here, Waters said. And with their eyes, Waters said, when he would answer questions with a lie, he would shake his head, yes. Prosecutors say the lies were hard for even Murdoch to keep up with and were ultimately his undoing. He described himself as this web of lies. State prosecutor David Fernandez said, The truth is easy to recite, easy to stick to, and truth adds up. When someone has to be questioned on parameters, Alex created this web of lies, it was all on lies, and it was hard for him to keep up with it. State prosecutor John Meters said, Alex was the most powerful witness against Alex a key moment for the state's team during the cross-examination, when Murdoch doubled down and lied about lying to investigators over the kennel video that placed him at the scene of the crime. Murdoch said he feared unfair treatment by South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, SAL AD, agents, if they knew he'd been at the crime scene moments before his wife and son were murdered, so he never told anyone until he was forced to confess his whereabouts on that stand. That's when prosecutors say Murdoch faltered. He was already on body camera, lying to a first responder about taking a nap, hours before a SLED was called in.